Hi, recently I got an error message in my car, claiming the glow plug preheating system was not available. I checked my glow plugs and they all drew a similar amount of current, so the usual next step is to check the wiring. Every cable appeared normal, so the procedure is to replace the glow plug controller. This was broken anyway, so I decided to see how it works. Remember to disconnect the battery before doing this. It looked like it was easy. There were four plastic tabs, one on each side. However, the enclosure was also glued together. I broke the tabs in the process, but with a flat-headed screwdriver the box came apart. Ignore those red wires and the LED. I soldered those for the next step. In the bottom there are three connectors. The first one, this long metal pole, is what feeds the controller power from the battery. It needs to be large, so it won't overheat with the large current required by the glow plugs. The second connector, marked G1 to G5, is what delivers the power to the glow plugs themselves. There are five pins because even though my engine only has four cylinders, I believe this controller is also used in the five cylinder variants. The third connector is what connects to the rest of the vehicle. Inside, we can see that the output pins are all wired in parallel in this big relay. The other contact of the relay is directly connected to the 12 volt input pole outside. Looking at the board, it looks like the voltage is being monitored on each of the pins. Even though they are connected in parallel on the relay, if a glow plug stops drawing current, the voltage will change on that pin. Each of the pins is connected to one of these SOT integrated circuits, which look like they are op amps. These are in turn connected to the microcontroller, manufactured by ST. I soldered this LED to see if the coil of the relay was getting power. The relay is powered by this NPN transistor. So this is where I connected the cathode of the LED. Now I will connect it to the car to see if the LED lights up. It will not enable the glow plugs immediately when I enable the ignition, because the engine ran a couple of minutes ago, but it is still cold, so it should enable the glow plugs after starting the engine. The LED turns on and you can see that the relay moved. That means the controller is communicating with the rest of the car and working as it should. This leaves the relay contacts themselves. I will now try to clean them. Some people like using files to send down the relay contacts. However, that will completely destroy the special coating alloys in the relay contacts. I like to use a thick sheet of paper. In this case, I will use 250 grams per square meter paper and fill it with contact cleaner. Then. I send down the deposit of the contacts with the sheet of paper. After cleaning the contacts, I tried it again and all errors were gone. To assemble everything together, I will use this sealant for the enclosure to remain moisture proof. To keep everything together while the sealant hardens, I will use a couple of zip ties. If it fails again, I will probably try and replace the relay with the P-channel MOSFET. But for now, I will leave it like this while it works. 